Uh, this is the time of year when hurricane season starts to get a lot more active. Yes, and on Thursday, government forecasters actually upped their predictions for this year, now calling for 7 to 10 hurricanes, including 3 to 5 major hurricanes. Marisol Castro is in Miami Beach, a place that knows a little too much about hurricanes <laughs> this morning. Maddie, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Erica. Good morning, everyone at home. The hurricane season runs through November 30th, and this part of the country definitely knows its fair share of hurricanes. So we want to take a look back at how many times uh, this coast has been hit by hurricanes. Now, we're looking at the time frame between 1851 and 2006. So all along the Florida course, uh, coastline, South Florida has seen six hurricanes make landfall. And just north of here, that number, number doubles. About 12, roughly 12 hurricanes have made landfall. If we look at the greater... Uh, United States. Uh, we can see the same time frame between 1861 and 2006. Maryland, specifically the peninsula, has had 187 hurricanes make landfall. And then take a look at North Carolina. 166 hurricanes have made landfall. Uh, more recently, we obviously know that the Gulf Coast uh, has been hit by hurricanes. And these are just areas that just seem to be, you know, the spot where hurricanes have hit. So, of course, we're going to keep an eye on that between now, September, and October when it's really going to start to pick up. Uh, here for today, we continue to look at the heat and we continue to look at some storms. It's going to be hazy, hot, and humid in the southeast, above normal uh, temperatures in the southern plains. The next three days, continuing the triple-digit heat. Dallas today expected to have its 35th consecutive day of triple-digit heat, and unfortunately, there is no relief in sight.